Hello, welcome to this video setting up a Gmail trigger service. This is an exciting video because in this you will learn how to configure an email notification. And this is extremely important and extremely useful in building an IoT solution with notifications. All right, so what we're going to do first of all, we're going to import the Gmail extension for the ThingWorks platform. Then we're going to be building a thing specifically for sending an email. We're going to configure it and then we're going to, of course, test it. All right, let's get started. All right, now this is the mail extension you need. You can uh, download it from marketplace.thingworks.com forward slash tools forward slash mail hyphen extension. Now, once you download it, you're going to get a zip file which you will have to import into your ThingWorks platform. I can go to my ThingWorks platform here and go to import export and come to extensions and say import. And then of course you gotta choose your file. So for me it's gonna be right here. Now since I've already imported this file, it should tell me that I already have this extension. So it says extension skip because it is already installed. Now obviously if you're doing this the first time, it would not say this and you can actually go ahead and import it. All right. After you have completed that, you need to create a thing specially configured for sending the email. Before we do that, I'll show you how it looks like so you would know what we're going to do. So I can pull up my Gmail thing here. Now this is a thing, keep in mind, but the Thing template which it generated is the mail server. So this is where the SMTP server configuration is sitting. And if you go to configuration, here is where you program all the information. So the SMTP port, the POP3 server port, and then your mail account, of course, your password, of course, and some more settings. So this is what we're going to do. So I'm going to actually do it one more time. Just to show you and we can test it as well a couple more things you need to keep in mind is for this service to work you need to do some things so first of all you have to enable the less secure apps to be able to access your gmail service to do that you can go to your my account you can go to sign in and security go all the way down and then you can allow less secure apps on of course this is not a very good thing to start with but for your gmail service to work from thingworks this has to be enabled all right once you've done that then you also got to click on this specific captcha unlock to be able to send the gmail service all right now once you click on that it will say something like this account access enabled great all right so keep all these things in mind and this is what is going to help you to successfully configure a gmail trigger client all right now let's get back to the platform and let's do this so i'm going to go to home and i'm going to go to things and i'm going to say new and here we can say send email IoT and I'm gonna import the mail server template. Alright, here you go. Now you just go ahead and save it. Once you save it, go to configuration and make sure you edit it. So go to edit and first of all change this to Gmail. Alright. And then this port needs to be what we see here, which is 465. So say 465, pop3 gmail.com. So say gmail here. This is 995. So 995 it is. And then you're going to use SSL. That's good. And then here you're going to actually give in your account information. So go ahead and say whatever your email id is and i'm going to say what is mine which i want to use for this example 
make sure you change the domain name which often many have forgotten including myself and of course you need to punch in your password all right finally I changed my password or you have actually entered your password the rest of the settings remain the same so make sure you go ahead and save it now once you've done that we can actually go to services here and you can actually send a test message all right so go to send text message here and say test now make sure that you enter valid email ID okay so I'm gonna enter two of my valid email IDs I'm gonna say hi and I'm gonna say testing so now you go ahead and say execute service so if everything is okay we're gonna see a successful message otherwise you will actually see the error all right we are lucky this time it says results that means it's good to go I want to go to my email and take a look at it so there you go it says hi testing perfect very very good so generally if you follow these two steps carefully which is enabling your less secure app and clicking on the unlock capture you should be able to run your gmail trigger service the first time all right let's close this for now so that's all we want to do in this exercise now you know how to create a gmail client kind of a service which is configured for you and ready to be subscribed perfect in the next video we're going to see how to subscribe this service create a trigger and of course we're going to test it